Diana Gales are dancing once again. Head coach Tim Clues and the Diana men are shuffling off to the big stage and emotions are high. We're just excited, you know, we're in the tournament. This is the third year in a, third year in a row for this program and you know, anywhere they put us, we just, we'll just be excited. We're just going to prepare all week long and get ready for our opponents. Throughout the tournament, Zach Lewis and Roland Griffin stepped up and played key roles for the team. Zach was tremendous in the playoffs. He, he turned to A.J. English. A.J. is senior year, and that weekend of the playoffs was not going to let us get beat. And Zach all of a sudden developed that personality out of nowhere for us, and it was exactly what we needed. I just, I just wanted to win, really. I just wanted to make winning plays, and I, want, I wanted it for the guys. I mean, we worked so hard in the offseason. We've, we've done so much. Everybody's had their, their moment throughout the season. It's just, it's been great. So I just, I really wanted to win. I didn't want to go home. Before the game started, I looked at Coach Grasso when they came back to the locker room. I said, he's the most locked in I've seen him all year. And I go, maybe it won't mean anything, but maybe it's going to mean a lot. I didn't know he's going to be that great, and he's the reason we're here today as well. The experience and guidance of Cedric Casimir, Ricky McGill, and Deshaun Much did not go unnoticed throughout the season, especially during the MAC tournament. Uh, this is probably the most vocal I've been. You know, in the past years, usually I'm quiet, but I was just telling the guys to relax. You know, basketball is a game of runs. You know, we were down 14 in the second game, and I said, you know, we were in the same position last year. So I was just being more of a vocal leader, telling guys to stay the course. Just being the leader, as I was the whole year, whole year, just leading my team to the championship, just telling them. I know I had, the, like, I had a bad weekend. Three days, I just told my teammates, I got to pick it up for me and I'll do the same for y'all. They've been great because they've had everybody focus from the beginning of the year on about we need to continue to work no matter we're winning or losing, but we're going to keep doing it because it's going to pay off in the end. And telling all our new players that and getting them to believe that was important. And these guys believe when we got there, it's our time now and we're going to find a way to do this. And they did. The Gales are eagerly waiting to find out where and who they will be facing off against in the first round. Reporting from the Heinz Athletic Center for North Avenue Nation, I'm Jillian Venditti.